Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Hello, we're finishing this video series on uh, central and inscribed angles of a circle. And we are at the self quiz now, which means that hopefully you've watched the previous videos and gone through some problem sets for practice. Now I'm going to show some problems on the screen I want you to try. So grab a piece of paper, get ready to sketch these diagrams out if you need to, and um, a little bit of algebra involved too. So let's take a look. Remember the whole idea is that we have a central angle measured say 40 degrees that makes the arc 40 degrees here but if we stretch this out and make it an inscribed angle it becomes half as much so now 20 degree inscribed angle in this position or this position or this position or anywhere where the vertex of the angle is on the circle all right half as much that's all you need to remember here we go now what I'm gonna do is just show these four problems on the screen and I want you to um, find the measure of the arc or the angle indicated. So obviously what that means here is this arc right here. You're going to figure out what that is. You're going to figure out what this angle here at G is. And here you're going to solve for X, knowing what you see in the diagram. All right, pause the video, give these a try, and I'll come on back. All right, number one, the answer is 114. Did you get that? Well, if not, let's take a look. We have a 33 degree inscribed angle here, which means that this arc must be 66. And the clue there is that this is a um, diameter, and so this entire arc right here is a semicircle. So what's missing from 180 degrees from J all the way through L? Well, let's go 180 minus 66 is of course 114 there we go all right just look at the clue for this semicircle there all right number two what do we got well 72 degrees is my answer and how do we get that well let's see we've got angle G creating arc SF and let me mark that here and arc SF is the part of the circle that's left over from these two arcs here, right? So when I add up 66 degrees and 150 degrees, that would be 216. And let's subtract that from 360 and see what happens. So that should be 144. And remember that that's the arc measure, 144. And so I take half of that to figure out what the angle is. That would be 72. All right, hope that made sense to you. Let's move on here and let me bump this up. All right, three and four. Number three is 10. That's solving for X. How did we get that? All right, we look at this angle here where it's 59 and notice that that creates our arc CB, which is labeled 11X plus eight. Now this is an inscribed angle, so if we double that, that's the measure of this arc. The double 59 would give us 118, and so 11x plus 8 must be 118. Let's solve for x. Subtract 8 on each side, and then divide each side by 11. A couple of uh, steps in an algebra equation there, and the answer is 10. And finally, number four, the answer is 12. And here's how we get that. Now we look at the diagram and kind of have to analyze it a little bit. We have an arc measure of minus eight plus six X. That's arc WR, okay? Now do we have an inscribed angle that creates that? As we look across here, no, we don't. Ah, but 82 degrees, this inscribed angle is going to open up and give us this arc here from W to Y, right? Now we know that 60 degrees is from X to Y, so we could sh 
should be able to figure out this missing part here. Now if this is 82, the arc is double that, which is 164, right? So let me write that down here. All right, so if it's 164, the whole arc from y to w, then if it's 60 degrees here, we subtract to get 104 here. All right, how does that help us? Well, that helps us because when we go from x all the way over to r, that is an arc created by this 84 degree angle, right? So now I should be able to write an equation where I combine these two arcs here to give us double that inscribed angle, which is 168. All right, so we've got minus x, or excuse me, minus 8 plus 6x plus 104. And that is going to equal double the inscribed angle, 168. All right, let's do a little algebra and figure this out. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 8 from 104 on the same side, um, combining like terms basically. And that will give me 6x plus 96 equals 168. Now we're going to subtract 96 from each side. And so 6x is going to give us 72. And our last step, we divide by 6. And of course, our answer is already over there, 12. And I hope you gave that a shot. Notice how we're combining a little bit of algebra with this, uh, these geometry concepts. But once you look at the diagram and see the relationships between the arcs and the inscribed angles, hopefully that makes sense to you. Thanks a lot for watching this self-quiz, and we'll see you next time. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.